Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Lau again. So this one is a uh, 2012 DSE MC question 32. Uh, this is a very common type questions in DSE. Actually, it have uh, has already came up come up for like three or four times in the line. Is it nine years DSE? Yeah, nine years. Uh, three or four times, maybe five times like that. Either in the MC or the long questions. Okay, so you must pay attention. How do you deal with this kind of questions? Okay, I hope hopefully you can do that this kind of questions. Okay, so um, actually, how do we do this question? We have a few methods. Uh, we we'll try to introduce a method in the MC questions that you can actually make it more easy. Okay, this actually is called the point transformation. Okay, so how to, can we do with this kind of question? First of all, we take a look here. Actually, in this quality system, the y value actually here is log y, and the x value is just x, right? X, right? So if I write down these two points right here, I will just write it down like this. Okay, so the first one is uh, actually is uh, x log 3 y actually is equals to uh co4 okay this one is co4 okay my main point is if i transfer this coordinate system into like only x and y what does it become okay let's take a look here if i transfer it to uh, x to y x and y coordinate how, how does it become okay uh you have to know one uh formula for this kind of questions okay i'll show you okay so uh when the x becomes x again so of course this is still zero but how about log 3y equals 4? Okay, if log 3y equals, equals 4, I want, I'm want i interested in what is, the, what is the value of y. Okay, because I have to put back the y here. So you have to know that on the left-hand side, if this is the base of the logarithm, then on the right-hand side, this is the base of the index. Okay, so when this 3 is goes to the right-hand side, it becomes the base of the index. This is something that you have to know in these questions, okay? So this one actually is 3 to the power 4. That means uh, 81. Okay, this is 81. Okay, this is called points transformation. Okay, so let's do the next one. So uh, x logarithm 3y base is 3 equals to this one is uh, negative 2 and 0. So when I change it back to xy, what does it become? Actually, it doesn't move for the x. We just keep it there. And how about log 3y equals to 0? That y is a 3 to the power 0. That means 1. Okay, this is 1. Okay, now these are the two points that after the transform of the logarithm coordinate becomes the x and y, okay? So now we can put back these two points to find out our m and n, okay? For the first one first, co and 81, when the y is 81, actually our x is 0. So m to the power 0 is 1, so that means m is 81. We have done the first one, okay? How about the second one? So when the x is negative 2, uh, y is 1. That means y is 1. Okay? Then our m is 81 and our x is negative 2. Okay? So throw the 81 to be here like this. And throw the negative 2 to the other side becomes n equals to 81 actually is uh, negative 1 over 2. Because we have to do the vice versa in that calculation on both sides, okay? So 1 over, that means there's a negative side, that means it's gone. That means actually this is uh, 81, sorry, this is 81. 81 square root, that means 9, okay? So that's why our n is 9, okay? It's right here, okay? So I, I hope you can understand this method, okay? So this is called the points transformation method, okay? For the this kind of logarithm questions becomes index relationship, okay? I will introduce the the other method in the next time I feel I face this kind of questions, okay? So uh, thank you for watching. Remember to like my channel and subscribe, okay? See you next time. Thank you. Bye.